Okay, so we are going to be inserting a chart in this Google Docs document. So I'm going to put some space and put my insert on point or my cursor where I want the chart to appear. So I'm going to go to insert in the menu and select chart. There are options that I can choose from. So I can insert the chart right here or go from a sheet that I have. So I'm going to select column. Once I click on that, it's going to indicate that it's going to insert it and it's going to have a place holder. So it has information on it that I did not want. So I'm going to have to adjust it. To adjust it, you're going to click on the chart and then to the top right hand corner, you will see a link as well as a drop down arrow. So click on the drop down arrow and go to open source. Once I click on open source, it's going to bring me to the chart. So I'll give it some time to work on it. And then as soon as it comes up, I can edit it. All right, so it has the categories, team one to four, and it has the series title, what will go in my legend, what each bar will be about. So I'm gonna change that to female and male. I'm gonna change this to January, February, and March. So I don't need the fourth one, so I'm just gonna delete it. Once I delete it, you can see that it automatically adjusts the information. These numbers are not correct, so I'm going to go in, I'm going to change that as well. So as you can see, as I type them in, the numbers are going to appear on the chart. So it will automatically update it for me. So I'm good with what is here. But unfortunately, my point is not on points. So I'm going to have to change the heading and it has a title, space for the title. It has the legend and it has the data series, but it does not have the access title. So I need to add those. So where do I go to add them? I click on the chart itself and I'll see three little buttons or dots. Click on it. And there is edit chart, delete chart, download with a, a picture of it in PDF or a SVG version of it, graphics. I can publish it, copy it, or move it to my own chart or add a text to it that in case it's not coming up, an alternative text is there. So I'm going to click on edit chart. Once I click edit chart, it is going to bring up the chart editor. Now, what I can do is I can change the chart if that was not the chart I should have had. So I can change it to line, drop down again, and I can also change it to pi if it should have been pi, etc. But as we said with pi, it selectively choose which series it's going to look at as it won't look at both. So this information can decide which one it's for. All right, so I'm going to go back and cancel that. I'm going to change it back to my column. So let's scroll down to column. I'm going to select back that information. This information I leave, so it use row one as the header and it use column A as the labels. So I'm going to leave that. If I need to switch it around, see, I switch it around, I can do that, but I can undo it the information but as you see it only switch it to two two items on the chart when we did it so let's add our access titles to add them we have to go to customize once we click on customize you will see the chart style information coming up so you can add a background to your chart see you can add a background to it well, i'm going to stick with the white you can also have your default writing on it. So you can change that. So it changes the text on it, as well as you can change the border of your chart. So it ch the outlines of it. You can also do it to 3D. So that's, see, looks in, looking much better. So I'm finished with the chart style. I can go now to the chart and access title. Now it's on chart title and it shows me the text so I can change that to attendance for January to March. 
good and i can also the text is already changed because i change it in the style i can change the size of it or just let it be automatic i can also make it bold italic and i can also put it in the center i can also have a different color so i can change the color right after i'm finished with the title i can then go to the subtitle i don't need any so i'm going to go to the horizontal axis title and that's at the bottom of this chart so i'm going to type in so these are the months i am going to leave the um, font style i'll just bold it it can move from left to right or center i'm just going to let that stay and i can change the color of it as well that's a little bit too bright so i can go to that color then i'm going to move to the vertical these are numbers for students so you see that it automatically puts it in i'm not going to trouble any of the colors or the font style or the size i'm going to leave that so i'm finished with the title now there are other options there that i can go on so i'm going to go to series once i go to the series i can actually format it good so I can format these. So I can click on a specific series. So it's on female. So I click on female and it shows me the colors. So I can change from male to female. So I'm on female, I can change the coloring. So let's say I want it that color. I want it to have an outline, right? And I want to change the dash type. So I can also change that around the chart. And I can do the thickness, etc., or the full capacity. So I'm going to go to the males and I can also change the color. So let's click on males. Back. So let's change our male colors. So you see, you can change it as well. See? All right, so I'm going to leave it at that one. And then I'm going to scroll down and I can add the data labels. Once I click on that, it will add it to the males because that's what I'm on now. So I can go back and go on the females and I can also add data label. So the values of each data series is actually shown. Now I don't like my legend here, so I'm going to have to change that. So we're finished with the series so i'm going to just close it out and then i go to the legend my legend is automatically positioned so i can change that and i can put it at the top the bottom the left the right or even inside so i'm going to put it to the left see not like in the left yes the right all right and you can also change the information you can go to the axis and change those information as well or reverse the order is a matter so i'm finished with my chart so i'm going to close off because it has all the different parts so it has the titles access titles it has my legend what you would normally call your key and it also has my data series so i'm finished with it so i'm going to close out once i am finished i will go back to my Google Docs and I will select update. And here's my chart. Once I'm finished, I can continue with my report. And that is how you create a chart in Google Docs by using your sheets. All right, have a wonderful day.